Yo, I got some breaking news coming out of the UK. If you work in B2B influencer marketing, you need to watch this. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, I do have some breaking news in the B2B influencer marketing space. Now, just yesterday, Analytica announced a new B2B influencer marketplace, okay? So it was yesterday, so not necessarily breaking news today, but you know, I just got the email a few hours ago. Nonetheless, this is huge news for a lot of reasons. So I wanna talk about really quickly the impact this has on the B2B influencer marketing space, as well as the overall kind of SaaS-based influencer marketing landscape across not just B2B, but also healthcare consumer and other industries. Now, I can confidently say that Analytica is the only SaaS-based platform that's focused on B2B influencers. Now, that baffles me because B2B influencer marketing is huge dollars. There's 30 plus vendors in the marketplace focused on uh, consumer-based marketing, a lot of work in TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat. That's important. A lot of B2B influencers don't necessarily use those platforms. They use different platforms. And so I can understand why there's been a, a kind of a, a focus in on the consumer-based platforms. There's just higher, maybe higher demand. There's more people. But I tell you this, that B2B influencer marketing is uh, a number one priority for many technology and business brands in general. And so the fact that Analytica kind of owns this space, it really does confuse me. There's just so much opportunity and room for innovation. But let's not talk about the other guys. Let's talk about Analytica and the fact that they are very much focused on this kind of B2B landscape. And I think it's very important um, that they to, to announce that they are the first marketplace, very similar to Isaiah. So if those of you who don't know Isaiah, there's several others out there, but I mention Isaiah because uh, the CEO of Isaiah, Ted Murphy, is a good friend of mine. We go back many, many years and I've worked with him when he was uh, launched Paper Post. Uh, for those of you who remember, that was back in 2006, 2007. And so IZ is very similar to that. It's a marketplace. It's like eBay, right? You're a marketer, you go in and you pick and choose what influencers you wanna work with and you activate them. So very similar to that of many consumer-based influencer marketing platforms out there. But let's not talk about everyone else. Let's not take away the spotlight from Analytica and the achievements they've made with this launch of their marketplace. This is very big news. As I said, they're the only technology provider focused on B2B marketers. And to be fully transparent with you, they did not ask me to record this video. They did not, you know, slip me a 50 or 100 or, you know, promise to retweet all my content to uh, talk about them. I've talked about them before. I've been critical of them in a few videos from last year. Point is, is that this is a huge step forward for B2B marketers um, who are focused in on influencer marketing. Now, if you've managed any programs before, typically you start with identify, identifying the influencers. And that can take a lot of time, depending upon how robust or rigorous your algorithm is or how you're identifying the most influential influencers. That takes a lot of time. When you add that to, or when you add in the fact that you have to reach out to these influencers and email them and, and tweet them and try to message them, and sometimes they don't get back to you or sometimes they have their DMs turned off or whatever, that is time invested, that is money, that is time is money. And so with this platform, you log in, you look for influencers based on different parameters. And these are influencers who are have already opted in to collaborate with brands, like they're ready to go. So that is one benefit that I see, the, the idea of being convenient to find influencers. Now, it doesn't mean that you go in there and just pick and choose the, the first person you see. There has to be a period of time and due diligence done in order to, you know, use metrics and I use data and metrics to identify the right influencers and hopefully they're already part of their uh, the marketplace. And if not, well, that's maybe the next rev. So convenience is, an, is, is one. Secondly, kind of an aggregate look at an influencer's performance across their channels. Now in all the consumer platforms that I've seen, you can look at influencers and see their engagement rates on Snapchat, on Instagram, on TikTok, and you can never do that with B2B influencers. And many of them are not on those platforms. And if they are, it's more for personal reasons. And so Analytica, because you as an influencer have opted in to uh, their program, now they have access to all of your performance metrics. And as a marketer, I can see, okay, this influencer is more, you know, drives more engagement or more clicks on LinkedIn than they do Twitter, than they do Instagram. So it gives you kind of an all-in-one you know, aggregate look at their performance as an influencer and also by channel. 
And if you're an influencer, it's simple, right? Create an account, authenticate LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, YouTube, and write a little blurb about who you are, what you're passionate about. More importantly, how you would prefer to work with brands. Do you want to do a tweet chat? Do you want to do a, a white paper? Do you want to, you know, host an event or some type of online virtual conversation with an executive? It allows you to be very upfront and transparent with how you want to work with brands and brands can look at that and say, okay, I like this guy. I like this girl. They look great on video. They have great, great thought leadership. They want to work with us in this capacity. And oh, by the way, this is how much they will charge us per blog or per white paper or per engagement. And you make a decision that way. So now let's go ahead and jump in and walk through some of these capabilities. Um, and unfortunately I have only screenshots, so I'm only worth screenshots. I don't have access yet. Hopefully I can, um, and talk you through some of these in more detail. Okay. So this first screenshot is like the profile page. So if you've used Analytica before, it's very similar to what they have. Although there's some additions here, uh, you see a name, you see a, you know, obviously a profile photo, you see the industry he or she works in the topics they're influential in links to their social profiles. You can see her audience size, her engagement. These, by the way, the engagement and authority is a, it's a, it's an Analytica kind of algorithm that helps rank influencers on the back end. Um, as you scroll down though, you can see some of her metrics, right? How often is she posting on LinkedIn, on Twitter? What is the average engagement she receives? Uh, what are the, how many comments does she get? So you can start to piece together, you know, what platform, you know, if you decide to work with Helen, you know, what platform she's influential in, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's Instagram, could be Twitter, um, and then build a custom program that fits, you know, fits not just what you need, but it, uh, kind of feeds into the areas where she's most influential. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you can also see some companies or clients that she's worked with in the past, everyone from IBM to AWS to Google to SAP and Microsoft. But um, you can also kind of see even more any type of featured content. So if she's written any blog posts or has, has been mentioned in a report or within the media, you can see that here. So you can start to see, well, Helen doesn't just say she's influential. She just doesn't have you know, a million followers, but she's actually producing content. She's being mentioned by other influencers. So this is somebody that I might want to work with. Now this slide showcases how Helen might want to work with you and her rate card, right? If, you know, if she doesn't write blog content or long form content, then maybe she's not going to provide that as a service. Maybe it could be consulting or it could be moderating an event or, you know, hosting an event or being a participant in a conversation with some executives or other influencers. But this gives you a, like a quick snapshot as to how you may want to, uh, you know, budget your program, but then also what she, he or she will charge based on what it is you need. Now, what's interesting about this is, you know, I don't, I don't know if I decided to work with Helen, I don't know if I'd still need to do a purchase order, but the whole PO process and the, you know, the procurement process in large companies, it's a nightmare. And so if you're able to do something, an activation like this, where maybe it could be a credit card or some other form of payment within the platform, that is very convenient uh, from, a, from a time standpoint, right? And as I said, time is money in this case. Now, these last two screenshots are more focused on influencers. So very similar to setting up a new account on LinkedIn or Twitter or what have you, you can write your own bio, you can write an, you know, an about me, you can, if it's, you're part of a company or a conglomerate, you can add that any particular topical expertise, um, and then your services, right? Are you going to, do you do podcasts? Do you, produ do you do production? Uh, do you just write content? And in some cases, maybe you just promote content. Maybe you're great at driving engagement and driving clicks to, to websites. So that could be part of it. And then listing on any client. So we just looked at Helen's profile and that's because she filled all this stuff out, right? This is the back end for influencers as they are building their profiles in my Analytica. And that's all that I have, right? I don't, I don't have any more screenshots other than this, but you know, again, as I said earlier, I would highly recommend that you reach out to their sales team and perhaps get a demo and see all this stuff working in real time. And that my friends concludes our time together. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you don't know who Analytica is, go check out their website. The link is like somewhere around me down here, down there and request a demo, right? They have a great team, great salespeople, great marketing team, great. The CEO is a great guy and request a demo to see how this could potentially work for your business. And if you're doing it all manually, this is a great way to save some time and partner with those influencers the right way. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to this video. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye.